is a rather more advanced technique. And again, this is not a technique that I would say is for everybody, for every eye or um, every case, every patient. But I would make the point that this patient, uh, this is an only eye. And as you can see, it's had a corneal uh, full thickness penetrating keratoplasty. Mm -hmm. Previous successful glaucoma filtration surgery, which lasted uh, around about four years, and then I was asked to see whether I could get this bleb working again. And as you know, redo trabeculectomy in this kind of eye is going to be very difficult. Tube is fraught with the difficulty of bleb uh, of graft failure, and so. The idea was that if I could resurrect this bleb, um, it may save the patient having further surgery. And just to give you a bit of long-term follow-up, uh, it's now over 10 years since I needled this bleb and the pressure has stayed stable. So, you know, the long-term results of this particular intervention really saved this patient's graft and, and their pressure. So I'll just show you uh, a couple of kind of extra little points. And I would emphasize at the outset that this is not my standard bleb needling technique. You'll see that it's rather an aggressive technique because you can see even before I start that the tissues are extremely thickened. And yet I can see that there is the potential for flow. So I start off the case uh, by applying viscoelastic to the eye so that that graft is uh, protected. Tissues are rather tight, again using the technique of uh, infraducting the eye and pulling the superior tissues down to get an entry. And then as I'm going forward now, I lose the sight of the needle tip because the tissues are so thick. I'm lifting the conjunctiva off the needle tip as I take it forward. And you can see how thick the tissues are. Uh, I'm really struggling to advance the needle tip, making sure there's no lateral movement. And now you can see I'm being very aggressive. Now I know exactly where the tip is, and that's why I can afford to be aggressive. And I'm sieving this tissue. As I'm sieving this thick scar tissue, I'm noticing that I'm just not getting anywhere. So I'm now doing a subscleral flap needling. You can see I'm going through. I know exactly where the tip is. I'm not going at the moment into the AC. And I'm cutting all that scar tissue around the old scleral flap. And you'll now see that the bleb is beginning to form. I finally got into the right plane. If you enjoyed this lecture so far, please subscribe to http colon forward slash forward slash op dot vision. I hope you enjoy this series as much as we have putting it together. Thank you.